today we have Steve Sadia from Vallejo Pharma. How are you today, Steve? Very good, Tracy, and great to be back on Investor Talk. I have to tell you, I really missed out on this webcast that you had on Tuesday. I heard it was outstanding. Uh, it was great. We we had a, a you know I thought in fact many people thought it was our best ever. I think we kept it concise. Uh, we hit you know today uh, when I say today not physically today but just today in this time. What's nice is we can talk more numbers, and I think that's what investors want to hear. Before we couldn't talk numbers because we really didn't have the numbers to talk about. So all we could talk about was or was the benefits of our drugs, and they're still clearly there. But I think investors like to say, "Yeah, okay, I understand, great drug, but what is it doing? What, how is it changing your your balance sheet and your income statement?" And I think we finally can talk about that, and I think people gravitate to that more so than than just knowing about how many you know how this affects your asthma or, or things of that nature. So I think it's positive that we can actually relate more to the retail investor. Steve, I tell you, you've had a lot of news recently, phenomenal news. In addition to incredible Q4 results, your record Q4 results, outstanding 2022 results, 22 results up over 105%. You've also announced a new treatment of hospitalized COVID-19 patients, which it's my understanding increase the survival rate by 51%. Did I read that right? No, that's correct. Yes, this drug was developed by a US company called Veru. It's called, the, the chemical name is Sabizabulin. It's an antiviral, anti-inflammatory. It has uh, gone through one uh, phase three clinical trial, which showed those quite significant results of reduction of deaths by over 50%. Uh, it has been filed recently with Health Canada. We have to go through the Health Canada process, which can take time, up to a year. Uh, we'll see how uh, how it goes, how quickly the Health Canada responds to the application. But uh, we're very encouraged. And this is really sort of a, a backdrop to everything that Valio does, is we look for innovative medicines that really bring value to Canadians. And I think uh, Sabizabulin, um, it, it certainly checks the boxes there and for people that have advanced respiratory uh, distress uh, and are in our hospitalized with, uh, with COVID-19. I'll tell you, Steve, this really touched my heart. I think all of us have lost someone during COVID-19. And so say one of us end up in the hospital for COVID-19, do we ask for this or how do we get access to this um, treatment? Well, first off, as uh, it's it's not currently approved in Canada, so we have to go through the Health Canada process, and that's a necessary process to ensure that the drug complies with our Canadian guidelines. Um, should the product or, and when the product gets approved, it'll be uh, put into the hospital protocols for patients that, as I mentioned earlier, are under some kind of respiratory distress, and it'll be up to the various protocols to determine at what time uh in the in your uh, in your illness that you should have uh sabizabulin uh, administered it comes in a capsule um and it is uh is generally it's only for hospitalized patients so this is not something you would be taking at home and again it's for patients that are are clearly in some type of respiratory distress and the results and it has a specific mode of action which is quite uh interesting uh and as i mentioned the results are are quite outstanding in terms of the reduction against standard of care so we were comparing the drug to what you're getting in the hospital today and to see this significant reduction in in, uh, in uh, fatalities and and death and is is quite uh, quite amazing and uh, I, I think you'll be hearing more about subsubul in um, in the weeks and months to come can you tell me how you managed to get this it seems like it was fast tracked uh because it Sounds like I have, I'm not familiar with this particular treatment before. You're already filing it with Health Canada. You've already done the, the, the placebo test yeah. you know, and received those results. Uh, can you tell me how you've managed to do this? Is it because of your excellent financial results last quarter, yeah. Steve, or what has allowed you to fast track this, please? Well, the uh, the drug, as I mentioned, was developed by a, a biotech company out of the U.S. called Veru. Very uh, interesting company, very advanced uh, scientifically. They performed the clinical trials. 
um, and through uh, various uh, business development activities that we continuously uh, undertake, uh, we were able to enter into discussions with uh, Beru. Uh, yes, we'd like to fast track this drug into Canada, but uh, you know it has to go through a process which takes time. Um, and uh, the results are, as I mentioned, are are truly uh, uh, outstanding uh, when you look at uh, and the effectiveness. I mean, this touches all these patients uh, very dramatically. I think it's the, the, the death reduction is one of every five people treated, which is a huge number of, of patients. So it gives a, I believe, a, a significant um, new advancement in treating these very ill uh, COVID patients. Well, Steve, as always, it's a pleasure to get updates from you and all of the exciting things that Vallejo is currently doing. And you actually have six other products, which are really leading the charge for revenue for the company right now. So, you know, in addition to expanding your portfolio, you have six, you know, products and treatments that are actually bringing in revenue and, and, and taking care of all of us. That's uh, that's correct. I think we well we in total we now commercialize twelve drugs, six of which are are undergoing some significant revenue growth and uh, are truly innovative in their various and respective areas. Whether it be asthma, whether it be ophthalmology, uh, whether it be in the hospital for uh, treating uh, blood clots or, or trying to prevent blood clots. So it's nice. It's a diversified portfolio. It's got has growth. Um, and uh, I, I think you, your viewers can be uh, can look forward to more news as Valio continues to try to add to these products and and leverage. And when I say leverage our our commercial infrastructure, leverage means adding products, adding revenue without adding cost or or meaningful cost, significant cost. And I think that's where we finally have got our company. So uh, looking forward to being able to talk about new therapies, but certainly not taking anything away from the huge growth. And I, I, I'll single out one, Enters Air, is, I've, I've called it our diamond. It, it truly is a very first-in-class type of therapy, inhaled asthma therapy. Uh, we believe it has uh, and is growing quite quickly. I'll make one comment about our asthma, and we talked about the first quarter a little bit, but uh, our asthma therapies from Q in Q1 compared to Q4, revenue grew 40% in that one quarter. So that's a dramatic, and we expect that type of growth to continue for years to come. So uh, very exciting times at Valio, but as we mentioned off air, it takes a lot of people. Uh, it's a lot of moving parts to uh, to run a company with a lot of with logistics and, and activities, whether it be medical, regulatory, obviously sales and commercial. Um, and it's all uh, the wonderful people at Valio that make that happen. For those of you out there who are Valio Pharma shareholders, you got to be pleased. Steve, thank you so much for joining us today. Tracy, wonderful. Uh, I look forward to being back uh, in the near future with some other good news.